Oh no! Say it ain't so! Oh no! Wait, what? DEI on steroids? What the fuck is a DEI? Is that something out of like Chairman Mao's Little Red Book or something? Outrage as Chinese immigrant is elected in San Francisco from Valuetainment? Supposedly, if I understand correctly what is going on, some Chinese non-American immigrant is elected to some position of power overseeing, like, the voting ballot box or something. Anyway, for more information, watch that video. In summary, in my opinion, whatever is going on in San Francisco, in my opinion, is most likely, in my opinion, unconstitutional. It violates the United States Code and the Constitution. But because it's San Francisco and Biden is president, who gives a shit? Do whatever the fuck you want. We don't care. Even if it turns out to be unconstitutional, you think Biden is going to do anything about it? Hell no, because it's Biden. It's do whatever the fuck you want. And that's my opinion. Incidentally, what did you expect? What did you expect? It's San Francisco. The average San Franciscan, if you go door to door, knocking on their door, and you explain the situation, they will say, Oh, how wonderful. Our diversity is our strength. Our inclusion is our strength. We are stronger for the diversity. It makes us stronger. How wonderful. But if you explain to them, but you know, there is perhaps maybe a conflict with what the Constitution says about this. Oh, how wonderful. Our diversity is our strength. It makes us stronger. We don't care. The average San Franciscan does not give a shit. Maybe perhaps there will be some, like, big wig who will, like, step up to the plate and say, hey, wait a minute, this is not permissible, it's unconstitutional, and maybe, like, make some, like, headways or something, what do they call it? But until then, the average San Franciscan don't give a shit. They don't care. But maybe there is some politician out there who will, like, step up to the plate and, like, push back on this. But the average San Franciscan, they don't care. It's our inclusion. It's our diversity. It's strength and diversity. It sounds like something out of Chairman Mao's Little Red Book. It's bizarre. What do you expect? Incidentally, a few months ago, I had my passenger side window smashed. Supposedly, it's a very common thing in San Francisco. You park your car in the street, you come back a few hours later, your windows are smashed. I'm like, why are you smashing my windows? What are you looking for? There's nothing in here. What are you looking for? A loose change, a couple of quarters, and maybe an empty water bottle? There's nothing in here. So I call up my insurance company, I tell them what happened. It, it's going to cost me like a thousand dollars or something just to replace the window with some tin. I call up the police department, I tell them, listen, I want to I wanna file a complaint. I want to file an incident. They say, okay, come down to the police station. I go down to the police station, I give them my information, I show them my ID. I show, I show them my proof of ownership of the vehicle, show them my license plates, all that shit. I go down there, I file a report. And what else? Nothing. I ended up having to eat the bill and pay to replace my window. It cost me like a thousand dollars and change with labor. It's like fifteen hundred dollars with some tent. And um yeah.
It's do whatever the fuck you want. You can smash windows. You can take a shit on the street. You can um, shoot up on the street. Um, you can walk into a grocery store. You can walk into a supermarket. You could walk into a, a drugstore. You can take whatever the fuck you want. Nothing's going to happen to you. You're not going to get arrested. The cops ain't going to come. In most cases, you're standing there online. You're shopping for your um, your items with your credit card. And you see some guy walking back and forth through the aisles. Just taking whatever the fuck he wants. And he just walks out. And you're like, did I just see what I just seen? Is that... Did you just see what I see? They'll say, huh? What are you going to do? It's San Francisco. So you can steal. You're not going to get arrested in most cases. You can smash a window. You're not going to get arrested. There's not going to be any bench warrants. No citations. No nothing. So what do you expect? What do you expect? Because it's all about inclusion and diversity. Diversity is our strength. Say it with me, my friends. Diversity is our strength. Inclusion is our strength. Equity is our strength. Keep repeating the mantra. Diversity is our strength. Diversity is our strength. Like some sort of like cult-like religion or something. It's bizarre. It's like something out of Mao's Little Red Book. What do you expect? What do you expect? It's do whatever the fuck you want, City. And then City's wondering why. How come? How come tourism is down? How come we can't get enough tourists? Because they're scared. Because they're gonna get mugged on the street. Someone's gonna beat them up. They're gonna they're gonna get their wallet stolen. It's your money or your life. You could literally be walking down the street minding your own business. Someone can just come up, come up behind you and just cold cock you. And steal your shit. It's very common to get like punched in the face and get your shit stolen. What do you call it? Sucker punch? Yeah. It's a thing. What do you expect? It's business as usual. It's all about inclusion. Un effing believable. But in my opinion, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You're going to see more more other cities, more other states. Other cities, other states are probably going to start doing the same shit. Because it's all about inclusion. Diversity is our strength. What a joke. San Francisco is a clown show.